day fellow problem solvers hope you are doing well long time no see but today we'll look into inspection so think of an inspector looking at clues on a crime scene how to solve algebraic equations through inspection share like subscribe stay tuned for more today we're continuing with algebraic expressions specifically focusing on solving equations through inspection now this is just to get your understanding built up uh, four expressions and equations and how we work with it in mathematics so first of all coefficients variables and constants so that's what we're first going to discuss before we go into this very important uh, understanding between equations versus expressions and what's the difference so what is a coefficient the coefficient is the number that accompanies the variable the variable is the unknown so let's look at an example 2x plus 4 equals 7 that 2 right in front of the x this 2 this is the coefficient as you can see it accompanies the variable the variable is the unknown in this case you can see that is the x uh, we can also look at other examples, like for instance, 3y minus 8 is equal to 7. In this example, the 3 would be a coefficient, and the y will be a variable. So the y is the, the unknown, the variable is the unknown, right? It has a variable value. It can differ in value. We want to find out what is the value. And thirdly, a constant. A constant is a number that does not have a variable next to it, like the negative 8, like the 7, like the 4, and the 7 as well with this, uh, the equation at the top. So coefficients, variables, and constants. Those are the three terminologies we need to know. But if you look at it, con coefficients exists in equations coefficients exist in expressions variables exist in equations variables exist in expression constant as well in both of these constants exist in equations as well as in expressions so the only real difference is for an equation you can solve you can solve for the variable. You can solve for the unknown. How do we know this? Because there will be an equal to sign. This is your key. The equal to sign is your key. If you've got the equal to sign, you know you're working with an equation and therefore you can solve that equation. An expression, you can only simplify. It has no equal to sign. That's very important. You can only simplify. And that is inherently the difference uh, between the two. So no equal to sign. That's how you get the difference between equations and expressions. Okay, now that we've cl cleared that up, let's move on to solving equations through inspection. Now, we've got a left-hand side. And a right hand side and in between those two you have an equal to sign remember now we are working with equations now we are not working with expressions so what we want to do if we solve it through inspection is we want to get the left hand side equal to the right hand side for example let's say 2x plus 8 equals 10, then we need to ask the question okay what is the value of x so that we will get a 10 just like we have on the right hand side so in this case you can see the 10 is our right hand side and the 2x plus 8 is our left hand side so what is the value of x so that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so let's see we've got an 8 plus 2x so 2x has to be equal to 2 in order for this equation to be 2 plus 8 that gives us a 10. So in this case, 
we can with confidence say x is equal to 1. And this is a method called inspection. We are looking at the equation on the left hand side and the right hand side and we would like to see what can we make the value of the variable so that we can get the right hand side in this case. Uh, let's look at a different example. Uh, 7y plus 8 is equal to 30. Okay, so again, you've got the right hand side equals to 30. The left hand side is 7y plus 8. So the left hand side, we need to work with that. So there is an 8, there's a 30. So if you say, okay, what is 8 units less than 30? That's 22. Okay, so over here, we've got a 7y that needs to be equal to 22. So this one is purposefully, I've purposely chosen a little bit more of a difficult one. So 7y needs to be equal to 22. We know 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3, right? So we can say that y has to be 22 divided by 7. Because if y is 22 divided by 7, the two 7s will cancel out. Therefore, we have a 22 plus 8 equals 30. So this was a higher grade question, but I'm sure you guys got it correct. So this is how you solve equations through inspection. You inspect to see which value works for the variable. Lastly, formulating equations. Now this is when we've got a word problem, uh, like over here, Henry earns 150 Rand per hour. How many hours must he work to earn a total of 1,800? So what we want to do is we want to go from words to variables. And that's what we are going to do. So we say, okay, he works an unknown amount of hours. So it's X times 150. For each hour, he receives 150 Rand. And in total, he receives 1,800 Rand. So what's the, the unknown X? Well, we can say, okay, what times 150 is equal to 1,800? We do a quick calculation. We can just say 1,800 divided by 150, and that should be equal to 12. So therefore, through inspection even, we can see that Henry works 12 hours to receive 1,800 Rand. Let's look at the second and the last example for this video. You have an unknown number of oranges. If you double, if you doubled that amount and subtracted 15, you would have 35 oranges left. How many oranges did you have initially? Okay, so let's look. Unknown, we'll make that an X again. If we double that, in other words, 2 times X, and subtract 15, we will have 35 oranges left. You can see here the left hand side and the right hand side. So let's see, minus 15, so 2x minus 15, so something minus 15 should be 35. So that means the 2x has to be equal to 50, right? So 2x equals to 50, so what times 2 will give us 50? And the answer through inspection is equal to 25. Hopefully this helped you to understand this unit and how to solve equations through inspection. Stay tuned for more.